We're in VirtualBox 6. I'm going to show you how to set up shared folders. And shared folders allows us to copy files from the host computer into our virtual machine. So the host computer in this case is the computer running VirtualBox, and the virtual machines are running inside it. I'm going to minimize the VirtualBox manager and go into the C drive on the host computer. Let me just get to there again. So on the host computer in the taskbar, you see an icon called File Explorer. Click on that. Then click on this PC, and then double click on the C drive. Now I've created a folder called Shared. You can create your own just by right clicking and choose New Folder, and then name it Shared or whatever it is you want to call it. But Shared makes it easy to remember that that's where it is. It's right on the root of our C drive. And this is going to be the Shared folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Shared double click on it, and I'm going to put a file into it just so we can see that it works. So I'll put in a text document, and we'll call it test. Now we're going to go to our virtual machine, and we're going to go into the menu at the top where it says devices and shared folders. Now the only way this is going to work is if you first insert the guest edition CD image, and then you go down to your folder and install the guest edition. So if you haven't done that yet, then click on this PC, double click on the guest editions, and then double click on this third executable from the bottom, and then it will install guest editions. You'll restart, and then this will work. I've already done this, so I can go ahead and cancel that, and now we can get back into our devices, shared folders, and click shared folder settings. Now I'm going to create a link between our virtual machine and our host computer. So I'll click on Machine Folders, and I'll click on the plus folder icon. Now I'm going to click on the drop down under Folder Path and click Other. This is opening up my host computer, which is where I created that shared folder. So if I go down to the C drive, there is my shared folder right there and we'll go ahead and click Select Folder. Now I have the option for Read Only, but Read Only doesn't allow us to make any changes, so I'm not going to do that. Auto Mount will make it so it automatically mounts for us, which is uh, definitely a help. If you want to choose a mount point, you can do that as well, but it's not necessary, so I'm going to skip past that. Make Permanent will make it so next time I restart, it will also be there, which I think is a great idea, especially if you need to do this more than once. So if we click OK, and we click OK, now we can go to our File Explorer once again. At this time, we're going to click on Network. And again, we're on the File Explorer on the virtual machine, not on the host. Now click on Network. Now you may get a message that says, hey, uh, the Discovery and File Sharing is turned off. So you click on that bar and choose Turn On Network Discovery and File Sharing. So we click on that, say Yes, turn it on. All right, and now it shows that the folder's empty, but that's okay. We're going to refresh. Sometimes it'll refresh on its own. Sometimes you'll have to right-click and refresh. In this case, it's refreshing on its own. And if you don't see it show, show up, just press the F5 key, and boom, there it is. So VBox Server, it also shows the client itself. I'm going to double-click on VBox Server. VBox Server is the link back to the shared folder on our host computer. Double click on that, and look at that, there's our test. So our test file on our host is now reachable on our virtual machine. Now if I want, I can just drag it over, copy it, and now I have the file that was on the host, it's now on my virtual machine. So that's how you set up shared folders in VirtualBox 6.